Welcome to I See the Light. I'm proud for this, Regina. I'm the light, and I'm back with another one. God bless. I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations, and you're not letting antibody dim your light. It's a little dim out today, y'all. It's raining all day. Mm hmm. Oh, gloomy day. Look. Ugh. But you know what it is? The day that the Lord has made, so we're going to rejoice in it. I'm here to speak on the behalf of my Heavenly Father. I'm here to speak on the behalf of my sweet Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm here to lift up the vibration of the world. Try to make this world a, a more desirable and pleasant place to live in. <sighs> With that being said, let's go ahead and get it in. I, I, I'm all over the place today. It seems like I kind of drifted off the number 12, but it's still very important. But um, I said I wanted to make another prayer, so I have made a prayer, and I would like to say my prayer at this time, and I would ask you at this time to please respect the Lord, and God bless. <clears throat> the name of my prayer today that I, I wrote is going to be titled... We believe in your power. Let's go. I say, oh, we. Your power is so mighty. Mm, yes, it is, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Your work is so awesome. Mm -hmm. It is. How you move things. Your tremendous works. You are splendid. That is why we praise you. You give us so much love in your work that you do for us on the behalf of us is so marvelous. That's why we believe in you. We boast on how you are fair and we are astonished by the justice that you are bringing to your people. Amen. You open doors that have been closed to us. You avenge the ones that have worked against us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You avenge the ones that have worked against our ancestors. Praise your holy name. You shine light on the evildoers, on the wicked ones, and you expose them. And your might, oh Lord Jesus, let's let's praise your might. You are marvelous, amazing, grand. You are cosmic you are glorious you are supreme your power is supreme it is crushing the enemy's foundation it is breaking through contracts it's plowing the weeds to catch the snakes let your power be seen we are in fascination we are fascinated by your strength, Lord, to overpower their dirty, evil world. You come with force that is none, that none, Lord Jesus, can compare to, that is. You sit them in the center of the city to show their guilt. Great Abba, great king, the beginner, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, how we praise your holy, loving, good name. Oh, how we believe in you, Daddy God, Yahweh, creator of all things. We love you. Amen and amen. And this is so, Lord. And this is so, Lord. 
Mm, I speak on behalf of my people at this time, Lord. Look at you. Praise you, Lord. Though, though times get rough, I still praise you. Mm. They don't want us to, Lord Jesus. But we don't follow them, Lord. We follow you. Amen and amen and amen. Today is, what is today's date? The 15th? Yes, it is. Today is December the 15th, 2023. Wow. Smack dib, dabbly dib in the middle of the month. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock. Close to it. Um, at one of my local parks my side of town i i love this side of town man oh over there oh too much care for over there i can't wait to get from over there it's just trying to figure out how i'm gonna get all these things in this car <sighs> it's not that i'm gritty y'all it's just i'm sentimental and a lot of things i want to take with me because they there's i'm sentimental it's hard it's hard for me y'all to part with things and i and i have to tell myself god is god wants you to have greater things god wants you to have great things he wants you to have everything your heart desires but you gotta have to like the paintings that i want to take but god told me my hands are anointed i i can make more paintings I, i'll be better next time around when i'm in a peaceful place I'll paint better. I'll be more happier. I'll be in a place where everything is available. The light is right. The mood is right. The atmosphere is right. So I'll be able to do better work. Can't take it all with me. Yeah. So, um, I was led to several di different things. Ezekiel. Um, I was led to Psalms. I was led to um, my numbers for my destiny numbers. So I was all over the place and I don't know which way I'm going to go. So since I don't know that, I think I want to start with some energy today. Yeah, we said a great, powerful prayer. And I also want to say hi to Bay. Hi, Bay. God bless you. Bye. Bay, you know what? I need you in my life like now like you are in my life but i like need you i need to i need the presence of bay uh, to i really i really do lord jesus i really need bay like i need bay because i'm lonely without bay mm -hmm. honestly i'm very lonely without bay and this is the truth I'm going to go ahead and do some. So let me say at this time, I love Bay. Love you, Bay. <laughs> I still got to, Lord Jesus. You came to me. I'm sure loving them. I sure adore them, Lord Jesus. I don't understand why it's taking so long, Lord. I know it's in your hands, Lord. But still, Lord, please. Please, Lord. Please get, get, give me, give me, give me uh, uh, a break. This is, this is much. I'm a, I'm tired. Like, it's like I'm finna have a temper tantrum, and I'm trying to be patient, Lord Jesus. But I'm just ready to get over this part of it. Oh, Lord, it's so hard. Lord, it's hard. This is hard. Yeah, it is. It is. No, how you want something so bad? He said, "Do not be in, 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 in um, and do not have anxiety and be impatient." I'm not trying to be impatient, Lord. I just. I just been through a lot and I'm ready to, to be through with this chapter of my life. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some energy and pull and see what's going on with this energy surrounding me and my people at this time, Lord Jesus. What, what messages do you need us to know today, Lord Jesus? Forgive all the junk, y'all. It's going to be so much more. I might not even be able to see out the back. Because I have a feeling. I'm going to just have to load it all down with everything and keep it pushing. What is this energy? What is this energy? To 
today, Lord Jesus. What is the energy today? We got this one here. Go to source for everything you need, right? Yes, indeed. We're going to go to source. We come to you, Heavenly Father, because we believe in you. Um, Natural born healer here. We got that mat natural born healer energy. What else? A pure heart, Lord Jesus. A pure heart. Okay. Let's keep it going. Heal in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Somebody is hard-headed. Mm -hmm. We have a hard-headed energy in the house. A lot of people are hard-headed. I be, tend to be hard-headed from time to time. I'm stubborn. We just do that, don't we? Let's pray that energy off of us that we start to understand that we got to put our dukes down sometimes, especially when it comes to God and God's instructions. Stop being hard-headed. Jesus says so. We got some clicks and clanks and clunks on and clinks and clinky clacks. I don't do clicky clacks and clank ons and, and clicky clack clack backs. No, I don't do none of that. So y'all are whack, you clickety clacks. I don't care for clacking and clacking grouping, clickety clack clack crunk clack ons. You know, I don't do that. I don't want to be in your clicks. No, not me. What else, build up? It says what here? This one. I fell out. It says, there's no me without you, babe. There's no me without you, babe. I just feel like it's about torture now to not be with bae. To not have my, my bae. My miss bae. And I want to say this. Stop, bae. Please stop running in and out of my life, bae. Uh -huh. That's all no, it's annoying it is at times, Lord Jesus. Just to get a glimpse of Bay and then I don't get to see Bay for for a month or two at a time. Oh Lord, this is this is this is much. This is too much for me to handle. My heart, my heart about can't take it no more. What else, Lord? I have first Peter here 2 and 16 and it says live as free people but do not use your freedom as an excuse to do evil live as servants of God we all don't even understand that I'm trying to get people to understand it still I'm still trying to get an understanding myself how how deep it goes today is the Sabbath day so happy Sabbath day, if, if it's okay to say that. Um, I read, well, we're not supposed to say that. I'm like, good Lord, it's just too much, you know? And we're not even say they said we're not even supposed to, what's that? I, I was reading something, and it said that some of the Jewish people wouldn't even say the word Lord. They would just say, the um, or no, write it, nor say it. Um, they would just write the L and the D. Or I guess the J and the S. I think it was something like that. And I was like, oh, that's so much. Um, times do change, and we have we have come a long way. Yeah, we don't drive chariots anymore. We drive cars. So things have changed. A lot of things have changed. That's why I call us the now believers. Yeah, because um, a lot of things in the Bible, the biblical things of the Bible, still great. Like all the instructions are still strong. Because it's God's word, of course, and we, we can't change that up. But what I'm saying is we got to just, you know, use it in the, the now days. Like, what else? What else, Lord? What else do you need these people to know? So he says, be a servant to the Lord. Be a servant to the Lord. The God says so. What else, spirit? It says, sugar is crack. A crack substitute it's just a sweet tooth. It, 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 I can honestly see it's not talking to me today. Because I didn't do nothing stupid today. I didn't even have coffee. But I did have rice and eggs. That was my breakfast. So. And um, I didn't have any meat. 
and y'all gonna say this sounds disgusting but my meat substitute was mushrooms i love mushrooms it's my main meat substitute i need to get me some more asparagus because i grilled uh when i um roasted that asparagus it was so good and i'll go ahead and get enjoy cooking for a couple more days before i hit the, i'm back on the beat you know hitting the street and i'm gonna really be a little like a little rabbit because if I do what I think I'm going to have to do, it's going to be the fact that I'm just going to have to be roughing it out here in the car, like big time roughing it. It's going to be like an apple a day. It's going to keep the doctor away. Look, y'all, my sniffles is gone. I took a vitamin C. I knew it was going to go away. I, I wasn't going to let that hit me. I cannot afford a cold. What else? It says took advantage of your generosity someone did someone took advantage of someone's generosity and they're gonna pay for it a lot of people a lot of people will pay for it and it says first timothy 1 7 and 8 it says desiring to be teachers of law understanding neither what they say nor were where of they affirm what does this what does this mean but know that the law is but but we know the law is good if a man uses it lawfully. If a man uses it correctly, they have eternal life. They will have eternal life. Amen and amen and amen. What else, Lord? We got read and energy. Don't be looking up in here. Don't worry about what I'm doing. We got reader of energy in here. I'll open my car. And it says, it's how the cookie crumbles. Take that L. Somebody's about to take an L. Um, it's this person here. This hard-headed person. Yeah. You about to take a big fat L. God said so. Somebody, somebody's been messing with the earth angel. Well, I told y'all about the earth angel. It, it and me. What else, spirit? And the spur, all those. Ooh, a lot of them fell out that way. We got to put those back. And I know I can't even open that car door on that side anymore. It's like, it's like a um. I done made that side of the the car a shelf. Dang there. If I open that side, everything's gonna fall out. There's too many. I'm just putting them back. If I can get them. Uh huh. This scene says, have unlimited potential. God wants me to tell y'all, y'all have unlimited potential. Don't let Satan trick you out of your potential, your full potential. So um, I was looking, I guess that's where I'm going to, I'm going to just lead. It's going to lead me to what I was talking about. Let's see here. We're going to go with that one. That's kind of like what I was talking about. So share this with y'all so today would be the 25th right today would be number 25 as far as our the number for the day angel number for today i don't even think i did it did i yeah i did let me see what i got here because it was quite a bit of stuff wasn't it or was it not let's see the angel number for today means that the major life changes could be on the horizon and that now is the perfect time to strengthen your sense of intuition so that you can lean into trusting yourself. You can see this message of faith from your um, guardian angels. Amen. And it says, basically, it symbolizes grace upon um, grace due to it brings composed of the number 20 okay so it says it's breaking it down so it's saying the tw 20 represents redemption and five represents grace so 25 plays a significant role in ezekiel temple's vision and that's when i went into ezekiel's temple vision and it's kind of long but y'all know how i do i can probably break it down pretty fast that 
happened to the other part? Did I just tear a page out? Yeah, I did. Okay, let me see if I can read it for real fast. So it's saying um, about Ezekiel's temple vision. It says, which is one of, excuse me, one of the places where we see this truth. The spirit slows, show, flows out from the Christian church to heal all of the sick places. Hmm. Okay, so it says, it spoke about Ezekiel 47, and this is, and this talks about um, the flow of water from the temple, which represents the spirit of God moving by the word of God into the nations. In other words, the Lord himself is moving and inviting his people to get in the flow. May we all get into the flow as we represent the king. Oh, it's black, black cows, clouds to move that way. It's starting to clear up on the sky. And it says, as we get into the flow... Okay, let me see. This, this, this is the worst notebook I've ever had. All the pages keep ripping out. It represents the king, okay? And it says, of the glory in the earth. At the, and the papers fold too easily. It's just not a good, this is not a good quality notebook. And it says, at this, at the east, of the temple Ezekiel sees the spring emerging the water begins at the immediate dwelling place of Christ who is the source of all things and it said that our very first um our very first energy we pulled out was God is the source go to God God is the source okay and it says here Christ, who is the source of all things, spiritual and physical life. The key message to seek out the Lord when we feel lost, to examine our own lives and to align ourselves with the one true God. Shout, my God is my source of all things in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, the source of the Son for light, heat growth the water for thirst and the main ingredient for growth and cleansing god's promise to ezekiel was what i will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols i will cleanse you and i will give you a new heart and a new spirit and i will put within you and I will remove the heart of the stone from your flesh and give you a fresh heart in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I pulled out pure heart, true heart, good energy, loving energy. Those are qualities of Christ. What is this one right here that fell? This is the truth. Let me go. So, y'all, I was looking up. I'm all up in the camera. I was looking up. My, um, my, my name. My name. And I came across what my middle name means, which is so beautiful. So calculating your destiny, it says the most common method of calculating a destiny number is to add up the um, numerical value of letters in your name. To do this, you will need to know the numerical value of each letter in your name. Once you add them up, you can simply get your destiny number. So my um, first name, my destiny number was 50, 54 and it's... And then um, when it looked it up and it states that I'm a humanitarian, I'm compassionate, I have wit, um, I'm adventurous, and um, I'm conscious. 
okay and it says it's the heart dis um it also says that i i i crave for my heart's desire it is also means to um i want to do something to better the state of humanity but not at the cost of my um my personal freedom it says that i have a a benevolent energy and i have a large dose of energy as well so isn't that beautiful because it actually i look so tight back it actually goes on your name and it, it so much matches you, you as a person and it and it tells you what your destiny basically what your destiny is it's kind of it's kind of like a little you know clue to who you really are and it makes really good sense so that was 50 that was 54 but i looked up um my middle name as well i didn't write that one down did i yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Yeah, here it is. So I looked up my middle name and it says, um, living one, uh, the meaning of it, the meaning of my middle name, I wanted to know that. So the meaning of my middle names means living one in Hebrew. And it also means that you, uh, will obtain full full fulfillment by teaching others perfection is one of your traits your destiny is full of mystery mystery with you exploring science occult and um other interesting fields understanding compassion like to uh like in, to help others who are in need of comfort you are romantic, artistic, protective, faithful, and a peacemaker, and have an ex excellent, excellent sense of taste and color. Hey Amen. Boy, that sure is me. That's my middle name. And it says, you are agreeable and easygoing, independent, and have a strong desire to become a leader in your um, receptive field. You long to be in a complete control of your destiny. Amen. Boy, and that, that's my middle name, y'all. So look that up. Y'all want to know. Not my name. Look your name up and see if give you a little something. Hint on what you are. Like, you know what? That is true about me. I do be acting like that. <laughs> Amen. Look at God. Okay. So uh, and I did that pretty fast. I, I think I got enough time just to pull a couple more energies. Just a couple more energies. Let's see. We got some affirmations here. It says, I do not think only, uh, I do not think only or live only for, do not think or live only for yourself. If you're humanitarian, you're not going to do that. You're going to want to make sure that the people that you come in contact are good. Let's see. Can y'all see the, um, the clouds? The clouds are kind of clearing up. All the dark stuff went back that way. Let's see. What else, spirit? One step ahead of them. Okay. We try to stay one step ahead of them. And it says a ray of sunshine. Look. A ray. It's a ray, too. Look. Just right when I said it, the sun peeped out of the cloud. Look at God. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see that ray of sunshine? After all this, this um rainy day, it's rained all day. And now the sun is shining out coming peeping from the clouds oh god good god is so beautiful let's see oh we got some right here that fell out to see no those are some i said already <clears throat> somebody's a toxic husband It says, Luke 6, 27 and 28, it says, But you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Boy, that is strength, ain't it? Y'all know me, Prophetess Regina. Woo-wee. 
that that's one that all people just, just to be sincere okay because you can't you can't treat god and be like yeah god please forgive my enemy you know and really like you don't mean it you know what i'm saying so hey i might even stumble and fall with that one i'm gonna like okay get it together i got to come correct when i say lord please forgive my enemies and forgive them for what they did to me and forgive me for being upset with them when i was and i don't, I don't want to be in that place anymore in my mind or my heart i want to keep my heart pure i don't want to let the enemy trick me out of my blessings or out of my good spirit yeah that's right that's a good way to look at it right i'm, on, I'm trying to it's really like for your own good not, you know, because you would be walking around. I think that was Joyce Myers that said that one time. Said you'd be walking around 10 years mad and pissed off at somebody. And you see them across the street and they're all happy and joyful. And you've been bitter with them for 10 years and probably said all kind of mean things about them. And never healed up from it. And they ain't even thought twice about it or even remember the incident. Or why y'all fell out or why you don't talk to them no more. We're highly protected in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Protected by the guiding light, the loving light of God. Amen. We love you, sweet Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love you. There you go, God. You know I love you. You know you my everything. And and, and I sure love some back. <laughs> ah, this is the truth. <laughs> oh, Lord, you know I do, Lord. I need them. Need them in my life right now, now, now. <laughs> okay i got a tall dark and saved oh yes i do uh-huh man on my mind oh i got a tall dark and particular man on my mind prophetess regina i keep they stays on my minds oh whoops away i do i do i really do i do god yes i do lord jesus what else, Spirit? Please, Lord. Soon, Lord. Soon, Lord. Lord Jesus. Soon. What am I going to... Y'all, please. They said somebody's got a split personality. Don't we all know? Don't we be... Uh, hey. We all got it. Everybody got some type of mental in them. I don't care what y'all say. Nobody nobody has not been un unmentally touched. So, stop trying to... Act like, well, I ain't know. I don't got no problem. Everybody got some. The the just better. Some people are better pretenders than others. And some people are just honest. Like you know, I got a couple of issues. But you you don't even have to discuss that. Talk to God about it. That's the only person. I mean, God knows your heart, knows your mind and your soul, and He can heal you. But I mean, it's not going to completely go away. It's still going to be somewhere up in there. But it, you won't have to like dwell on it. Be like, yeah. I mean, for 45 years, I've dealt with this suffering from this mental depression. Did I? Come on now. We're in the name. We, we, we healing in the name of Jesus. And I want the devil and Satan to let my people go. Devils don't control us. The devil don't control us. That is a depression is a, it's an entity of the devil. No, we don't want that in our lives. What else, spirit? Shine. Shine on us, Lord. Shine on us. We got that angelic bounty hunter in the house who's coming for somebody. Because I told you, somebody been hard-headed. Yeah, beware of the headhunter because somebody's going to get it for the wrongdoings. And it's a toxic husband as well. One more, one or two more if I got enough space. If I don't, God bless y'all. I love y'all. What else? Kind-hearted. And remember we said that that is the best quality of an earth angel is to be kind-hearted and giving. And that's what God wants us to be kind to each other. If we all was kind to each other, we wouldn't have no devils here messing us over. We want to bring the kings down in the name of Jesus. They target the kind-hearted people, the ones that try to make a difference in the world. They try to say, hey, no, you're better than that. You, you can do better than that. They want to keep us down, y'all. They want to keep my people down. They don't want my chosen people to come out and do what's, what's good by God. Keep up with the master keys. Yes, we're going to keep the master keys. We got the master keys, y'all. God says so. We got them. And the devil's trying to take them. The devil wants to change the locks. And the doors are going to be open because God controls the doors and the gates. Amen? Well, I guess I'll be gone. Peace, love, and light.
never let nobody dim your light. Stay up and stay bright for the world to see and know the world one. God bless y'all. Till next time. Peace.